Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to try GFP gun, which is used for face restoration. Basically, just unblurring the blur faces, we can say. This is a famous repository, by the way. It already took 32,000 stars and is developed uh, two years ago, we can say. And also GANs, which stands for uh, Generative Adversarial Networks. They were developed um, 10 years ago, approximately 2014. And GFP gun is one of the famous gun, we can say. And uh, you can see here what it's doing. It's just taking the blur faces. Basically, it's giving you the output which is already restored. In the between, you see the other type of face restoration algorithms. Also, you can compare. Seems the results are good. We are gonna try with our inputs also. Um, usage is very easy. By the way, this uh, based on Python code. All you need to do just clone this repository and do the installation steps. And after that, also uh, at the end, you need to download the models, which is pre-trained models. You can also train your own model, which is already um, given the codes in here in the training part. In the future videos, maybe I can try training also. Uh, we can try this later in the videos, maybe. But uh, currently, I just wanted to try this repository and check the results. By the way, uh, I already did the steps because these are uh, longer steps, which is, uh, let me show you my pip list. And in here, I already uh, installed basic SR and uh, the other one, the biggest one, face X lip. And these are the uh, biggest installation. These are taking little time according to your internet speed. Uh, since I already did them, also I also I downloaded this uh, pre-trained model because also this is a little huge. So uh, I did all the steps actually. Yeah. So I just directly uh, want to try the uh, code snapped in here given. There is a command here how to run the code. There are some configuration basically in here giving the input. Uh, you can uh, give directory directory folder inside the folder. You can put your input images. Let me show you um, in here. Actually, this is GFP gun folder, which I already opened. And here inputs and whole images. I didn't change anything. These are already given by the uh, repository. They already put some default pictures in here. You can check the pictures. Uh, little blur, little old pictures. Yeah, in here also. These are not really blur pictures. By the way, I prepared my own pictures. Where are they? um blur images i i'm gonna try these input images these are little um challenging uh images because they are really blur nothing you can see in here i just want to uh check the power of this gfp gun since uh if i if i believe if i give uh, some simple blur for example this is simple blur not really blur uh if i give this kind of inputs i believe it's gonna give me perfect results but if i give uh for example, this is the blur level is little high in here. So I believe this kind of images uh, is gonna have some uh, problems. I'm not, I'm not expecting it will give perfect results. So yeah, I want to try also my own input images. Let's try to run the code. Uh, basically, this is in here. I'm not gonna run my own Python. Let's open a terminal in here. Uh, sorry, I already opened. Yeah, by the way, I'm using a uh, Conda environment here. I also suggest you to use that. You can uh, download Conda or install install the Conda by, on, uh, by following my Conda installation video in my YouTube channel. You can check it and uh, install the Conda. Also, you can create your own environment. By this, uh, you don't have to uh, change your uh, normal Ubuntu folders, normal Ubuntu installations. Yeah, you can do your all your things in your uh, own environment. Okay, uh, let's just call in Python 3 and paste the command. In here, I'm gonna run the inference gfp gun Python code and I'm gonna give the inputs folder, which is inside this input, inputs whole images. Also, output is gonna be written into the results. By the way, here there are uh, four folders. Let's talk about them after see the results. Let's run the code. Okay, by the way, this is uh, working by on GPU, by on CUDA. Let's check in here. There is a CPU, no GPU. Okay, um, yeah, I believe this is gonna work for CPU also because they are they didn't specify, they are giving GPU as an option. 
so i believe this is gonna work also on cpu i believe yeah but uh of course in my case it's it's working on gpu that's why this took faster uh this happened uh the the images generated faster let's check the results by the way um um, this is comparison, which is comparing each face in the images and giving the result image. And this is giving the whole images in this folder. And others, um, for example, this is the restored faces, just giving the result faces by cropping. Also, these are uh, the input faces, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, these are the input faces, which is bad also. Okay, maybe we can check uh, directly by comparison folder. Let's check the results and the inputs. You see it's really working fine. Also, uh, maybe I need to talk about the other uh, configuration. We are giving, uh, in here we are giving, or it's defaultly, let me check. Yeah, I'm not giving as a uh, real ESR gun, but this is used for uh, background restoration, I can say. In here also it's written. You also need to install, uh, I already installed this one, I believe. Let's check pip list again. Okay, let me check real. Yeah, I already installed this one also. So it's using this defaultly to enhance the background in except face. So that's why uh, in this image, you see these parts also enhanced by the ESR gun. But the uh, face is restored by EFP gun. Let's see other results. They are really pretty fine. Also, these are some input the default images of course they are gonna be fine yeah let me check the whole images then we can switch to the our own um let me delete by the way here because it's gonna it's gonna uh, fill that again these are the restored images whole images because before you see in here also we can check the sizes i believe they changed in here image size yeah 2000 almost 3 megapixel I believe and let's see the input images and I believe this is gonna be yeah little lower almost 1 megapixel maybe also let's check this one yeah these are low resolutions but the given results are the resolution increase also yeah it's also expected yeah okay let's check the other yeah they are pretty fine comparing to the inputs okay these are fine and working really good this uh, i also like gfp gun one of my favorite uh ambulering guns also in the future videos maybe we can try other kind of uh ambulering algorithms ambulering guns we can try and uh let's change our inputs let's see the code again in here I want to give the input directory differently which is gonna be my blur images let's copy and paste and let's run the code it's just loading the model which is uh, we downloaded and after that you see uh, just this is the first image which is including more than one face I believe it's doing this faster because it's using GPU that's why it's uh, finished these are also high number of images you see in here let's check together one more yeah i want to now compare this has already many blurred faces also another talent another uh, make this uh, repository famous is able to detect these faces okay restoration is another step but detecting the faces also is a beautiful talent i can say for example in normal face detection algorithms is not gonna detect these faces because it's not easy i believe that model also detecting the faces is powerful for this model i can say yeah okay let's check the results let's directly check the comparison one okay you see this is me by the way i just uh blurred some of uh the real face so you see how it's improving this is not really blurred i can say it's detecting the face correctly and unblurring uh, beautifully uh, this is for example a difficult case uh, what you can expect is doing actually the best one it can do similarly yeah 
These are really challenging cases, but Ivan is trying to do its best. Yeah. Okay. This is this is coming from the multiple faces picture. Okay. This is another bullet one. Still, it's able to restore. Yeah. For example, the blur level, blur intensity in here really highest. Uh, in this case, it's not really able to correctly, of course, unblur, but even uh, I can say this is not really bad. Yeah, but this is bad, of course, because <laughs> the yeah blur level is the highest one in this picture. It's making like this. Yeah, I cannot judge for this one. But for example, this one even higher, I can say a beautiful result. Similarly, yeah, we back to again. Let's see the whole pictures. Okay, it was totally unblur uh, in the at the beginning, and it the, it gave this result. Uh, this is the lowest blur images, and this is almost me. Nothing changed. I can say this is uh, very good. This is bad, I can say, but also input is also really bad. Yeah, this one I can say good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. According to the inputs, blur level, uh, I can say the results are really good. Uh, because in some pictures don't have any uh, any critical pixels inside, so it's really difficult to unblur. But uh, yeah, it's doing its best. By the way, we tried uh, 1.3 of I uh, let me check. Yeah, 1.3 version and. In here there is no 1.4 yet I don't know they will also uh, release another version or not but we tried the latest version the usage is very easy as I said and you can uh, maybe use in your uh, in your cases how this is working but I really like this gun and maybe in another videos uh, we can um, make training of this gun because they are giving the uh, code for training also we can try another uh, gun types because I really like guns these are new technologies also uh, it's really good to uh, be familiar about these things and yeah it will be better in sometimes also I want to share in my youtube channel together we can check yeah for this video I just wanted to uh, try this GFP gun see you in the next videos